What's up, Shade Squad? It's me, Jen. I feel like we're best friends now. You are in the final week of your 40-day challenge. Many of you have already reached your goal. Some of you are about to accomplish it. Um, and although that's really important to me, what's also just as important to me is that sustained goal, it lasting. This isn't about 40 days or even this week or this workout. This is about your life. So I am so proud that you've come this far. We gotta keep going. So for today's workout, I've created something special. This is the most dynamic you will move in the six weeks. I have got barbells and a little bit of room to move and we're gonna be doing it together. Again, it's a 10 minute workout. Now, just like the medicine ball workout a few weeks ago, when you get done with this list of exercises, your job and your uh, privilege is to start back at the top. So once you get done and you earn the extra time, you get to start the loop over. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna give you two exercises down here at the end with your barbell. 12 reps for each exercise. And then I'm gonna take you down the turf about 20, uh, 20 yards. I'll let you find out what we're doing when we get there. Uh, but let's get started. So let's start that timer. You're gonna start with a sumo deadlift. And here we go. The key to this exercise is a wider stance with your feet outward. And make sure you hit your hamstrings and glutes. Back is tight, shoulders are back. Last pair, and good. Now from here, it's a high pull. You stay upright and you're just pulling. Hands stay narrow. Make sure those elbows go above your wrists, otherwise you kind of look like a sad kitty. That's not what I want. Elbows high. Final rep. Okay, placing it down. Side shuffles, I want lateral movement, slight bend in the legs. You're going to go down and back twice. Next up, push press and good mornings. Carefully pick up that bar, get it in that front rack position and you push press comes from your hips and extending up. The key with this movement, it's transfer of energy, hips to hands. One fluid movement. Last pair. Good. Weights on your back, kind of just below your neck. You don't want it up too high. Your feet are side by side, your hips set back, and you do a good morning. I have no idea why they're called good mornings. <laughs> but I love them. This is all back body. You should be able to wiggle your toes. You should be able to have the majority of the weight in those heels. Last three reps. We're gonna dismount the bar by popping it up and over, placing it down. We're gonna do forward bounds and then running backwards on the way back. Just try to get a little air time. This is recovery. I just like moving in a different way. And just channel your inner superhero. Okay, reach, reach. Try to have that moment of gravity each time. Excellent. At any point, like now for me, if you need a sip of water, grab some. This is meant to be continuous, but I also want quality movement and work happening. So if you need to slow down and take a minute, do so. All right, next we have piston presses. It's one of my favorite exercises and a great way to isolate your upper body. Set up your weight out, be squared off, and just press it out. If you want a bonus halfway through, pick that back knee off the ground. And six. Good, switch sides, roll that barbell over, other leg forward, lift it up, 
and it's a total shoulder isolation really great for getting some more extra upper body work in and like I said a little extra credit lift that back knee off the ground two, three. last three two and one place that barbell back this is standard high knees and butt kicks make sure you pump your arms the more you pump the arms the better your legs will flow these are all intentionally athletic movements to shape your legs without making them any larger okay two times of everything Really use your hamstring to pull that heel up. Whew. Next up, one of my favorite exercises. They'll change your legs. It's gonna be walking lunges with a barbell in front rack position. That's gonna make it more interesting. Great for your core. So I want 12 steps out, 12 steps back. I know I'm probably out of frame, but I couldn't, I couldn't short the reps. 12 out, 12 home. You guys are doing great. Gorgeous. Weight goes down, karaoke. Sorry, you gotta be coordinated and strong. Here we go, forward and back. Notice how I pull my front leg up high. I want you to try that as well. Doing great guys, almost there. Okay, let's slow things down a second. We're gonna do floor bench paired with a Turkish getup. Floor bench we've done variations of during the work the weeks uh, leading up to today except this time it's a barbell what I like about it is your elbows will touch the ground then you'll drive up so you have a nice consistent range of motion and because I'm a really good trainer <laughs> I gave you a little time to slow down your heart rate make sure when you press through you're not locking out your elbows don't do that keep them slightly bent so all the muscle fibers are engaged. I think that's about eight reps. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now, Turkish get up. I want you to tip that barbell, grab the center, and find your balance. This is, a, this is key. Turkish get up, just follow me step by step. You're gonna have one knee up, the same knee that has the weight. Then you're gonna roll up gently. Keep that weight right above your head. And place that palm by your hip. Rotate the leg back, stack that weight above your shoulder, eyes at the ceiling, and come to a stand like a muscle woman. <laughs> Old school stuff. Drop down, bring the leg around, drop to the elbow, and return. Now, gently wind the grip, get the left hand in the center, switch that leg over, same thing in reverse. So gentle sit up, hand at the hip, Bring your leg through, stack, stand proud, drop to the knee, drop the hand, bring the leg through, down to the elbow, down to finish. Amazing. All I have to do to get out of this is put up the dumbbell or the barbell, bring it behind you. If that's the first time you've done that, congratulations. If it's something you've done multiple times, congratulations. It's a kick butt exercise. Okay, now I wanna go back to the, the turf. We've got about a minute 28, we can do this. Bounds are first, bounds just like before. Hopefully you can get a little higher, a little more athletic, and then a backward run. Whew. Ideally, I can finish this exercise, this workout, and then start it over at the beginning. Remember, that's the goal. Whew. 
Let the arms relax. Bring it back to home base. Last two exercises here. Stay with me. So we're gonna do an ab rollout. Do not go farther than your body allows. Stay right in here, feet tucked under, reaching out and pull center. Reaching out and pull center. If I tried to go any further, I would fall flat on my face. So mitigate that range and that mistake by starting with this lower range of motion. I should say a shorter range of motion. Ooh. I lost count a little bit. I think this is seven. Great job guys, stay in it. Second exercise. We've got three seconds left. We're gonna keep finishing this workout because I need you guys to see the skill sets. So keep moving with me. Your last exercise of this workout is a pull over to crunch. It looks like this. Arms reach back, pull over, crunch. Lots of upper body and core mixed with that turf cardio. Should have a slight bend in those elbows. Protect the joint. Three reps. And then bring it all the way back. Let it go. Your last turf work is just the shuffle. If I could talk, this would be a lot better for you. <laughs> last down back, come on. And done. Guys, this is for you and for me. <laughs> um, it's kind of crazy. As I was doing the workout, it didn't really go as I planned. I thought I was going to finish under the 10 minute time cap. And I didn't. And, and if you are in that same boat as me, I want you to assign a meaning to that that I am. And that's that this is opportunity. It wasn't a failure that I didn't finish in time. It was an opportunity to see, okay, where could I have gone a little faster? Where could I have transitioned better? And once, if you're someone that does finish in the time cap, start over and maybe you're strong enough to add more weight. That's what's exciting about this kind of workout and about these six weeks. Because it's not just about one workout or one week or one challenge, guys. This is the beginning of a relationship, not just with me and Shape and Shape Activewear, but with yourself. You've got to choose you every day. I just took the last six weeks to try to show how important it was and prove how good you are at it. So thank you for being a part of this. And let's finish this last week strong. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.